here at World Dairy Expo. I'm visiting with De Lavelle and uh, Cherry. Uh, first of all, tell me what you do for the company. Uh, I work for De Lavelle in Sweden, and basically, I uh, I'm involved with the uh, the launch and the marketing of Amar uh, on a global basis. But okay. here for this time in, uh, for the first time in North America. Well, uh, since I've been here this week, uh, there have been some key words we've been hearing a lot. Robotics being one of those. Uh, you've got a, an announcement, like you said here, uh, the world's first automated milking rotary. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it's the first. Um, it's the first concept that we introduced, uh, presented for the very first time to the world in Germany last year, and it was awarded a, a very prestigious gold medal. Uh, this is the first time in North America that we have a pleasure, really, to, to show that to the, to the public. Mm -hmm. um, it's the first of its kind, or it's nothing else like this in uh, existence. Robotics have been known for quite a great deal of time now. It's been at least 10 years, and we've been extremely successful with the Delaval Voluntary Milking System, VMS. Uh, we've sold 7,000 of those units over there, and we've learned a great deal about mm -hmm. it. And our customers are looking at larger systems. We sold VMS to very, very large farms, because there's a lot of people that really asked us, when are you going to put the VMS on the rotary? And we've got, we've had that question for a long time, and that's the answer. Uh, we've used a lot of the technology we developed to learn how to work with cows. Live animals are really unpredictable business, and uh, they need to be comfortable, and it's got to be efficient, it's got to be producing good quality of milk, etc. So, we've used a lot of the technology developed for VMS, apply that to a rotary platform that is very, also very well known as a concept. And we have a system here, it's a, con it's a concept, just a representation of a small part. You only see two robot arms here. A full system can have up to four, four robot arms. Two dedicated to the teat cleaning and the preparation before milking, and the next two for teat attachment. Mm -hmm. And in that configuration, we can milk up to 90 cows per hour, compared to eight or nine with a VMS, a single station. So basically, this is giving us a capacity of 10 milking stations uh, in the traditional way. It's a bit do you, strange to say traditional. Do you have, uh, are any of these out on uh, location here in the yes. United States yet? Uh, in the United States, no. Okay. Uh, this is only here presented. We have, we are milking cows as we speak in Sweden. We will soon start in uh, Australia and uh, other systems have been sold also in Germany. Mm -hmm. So we are taking it one step at a time. It's uh, brand new, we need to learn also a lot, just like it was about 10 or 15 years ago with mm -hmm. the, uh, right. the robots we know today. So to get more information, where do we direct people if they want to learn more? Information can be found online at www.delaval.com. www.delaval.com. You'll find all kinds of information on automatic milking in general and the uh, Delaval AMR. On YouTube as well, you have videos. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to have another one after this interview, and uh, you certainly are getting a lot of attention out here. We are at the 2011 World Dairy Expo. I'm Chuck Zimmerman reporting.